Hey, so you guys just watched the video of me with the Van de Graaff machine and the balloon and the long piece of tape on a wooden ruler. And um, so now we're going to answer questions one through three, and then I'm going to talk you through the simulation in questions four through six. So question one was, what pattern did you observe when the tape was at different distances from the Van de Graaff machine? So here's a sentence starter for that one. Um, when the tape was, you could say, close to the Van de Graaff machine, it da da da. And then you can say, when the tape was farther away from the Van de Graaff machine, it da da da. Okay, so, and that had a strong charge, both close and far. Um, let's see, question number two. How did the Van de Graaff generator make the tape bend? So we can start it off with the Van de Graaff generator made the tape bend by dot, dot, dot. What patterns did you notice when comparing the interactions between the tape and the Van de Graaff generator to the tape and the charged balloon? Okay, this is a big part of our science curriculum is recognizing patterns. So um, I noticed that um, both the um, Van de Graaff generator and the charged balloon caused the tape to, but dot, dot, dot. Okay, so that's where you're going to start there. Now let's go on to the next page. Let me scooch this over so I can click the button. All right, so now we're looking at the factors that affect the strength of electric force between charged objects, okay? So we have these, um, these are our components of this simulation here. We have two charged particles, and we have these arrows showing force. So longer arrows here mean a stronger attractive force. Shorter arrows mean a weaker attractive force. So there's a few things we can adjust here. We can adjust the amount of charge and the you know, direction of the charge, whether it's positive or negative. We can, um, oh, we could just have one particle. So we can play around with just this one by itself changing the force of the charge there. Okay, so that's showing that um, electromagnetic field, that force field around it, right? Okay, but we do want two particles. Um, we have these arrows to show forces, or we can take those arrows out, but we like those arrows. And this would take out the electric field altogether. So this is what we would see, well, honestly, this is what we would see if we were looking at this in real life, but we would feel the forces that the, that the arrows and the fields are showing us. So, how are we going to answer these questions? So, list the components that you see in the situation. Identify any components that you are able to change. Components mean like the parts that are here. So, we have particle A and B, um, and you can change the what on them. We have the electric field, um, and can you change anything on that? You can, can't change, dot, 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 is a good place to start there. Okay, and then we have um, the forces, arrows showing forces, and you can change them by dot, dot, dot. Okay, so that's a good thing to get you started there. You can always pause these videos when you want to, to like record your answers and come right back. Um, so then with this one, when the distance, we're looking at the relationship between the components now. So when the distance between the two objects changes, what do you notice about the strength of the electric force between the two objects? Be sure to describe what you observe in the simulation to support your answer. So, okay, so we're going to start playing with this. What I want you to do is to um, play with these charges. And I want to show you some things that happen here. So say I'm making this like, these are like the most opposite charges they can be. We've got one that's super positive and we've got one that's super negative. And look at how strong the attraction is there. Even when they're far apart, they're like, we like really want to be together. We love each other. We love each other. Oh my God, we love each other so much. 
much and they like love each other so much and you can tell because those arrows are really really long when they're close together there's like holding them apart at this distance is just making that force between them like so so strong okay but then what happens if you change the um, charge on one of them so now we have two that are supercharged but they're super um, but they have opposite or sorry they have like charges that are causing them to repel right so this is like you know you and your sibling who like a lot of the same things but you really need your own space and so this is you quarantining at home sharing a room and you're just like no this is terrible we just want to compete all the time and I hate it and we just want to be apart but we can't so um, when I hold them here close together and they can't get that distance that they would normally get then that is what is causing this super long arrow here okay but then when they're far apart like they can kind of deal with it so then maybe we just have like you know maybe we'll just make it like a little bit charged one way okay so then maybe we have let's just make it both where they're just like a little bit charged so these people like they might like each other but you know they aren't really you know it's like that's cool you're kind of different than me oh I like you see and they get closer and then they're like oh yeah we really like each other but it doesn't happen until they're like pretty close to each other that they even notice each other right like the force arrows here are so short um, so when the distance between the two objects changes what do you notice about the strength of the electric force between the two objects so when the distance between the two objects changes the strength of their electric force da 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 that's what I'm gonna give you there when the charge on one object is increased either positive or negative what happens to the forces on both objects so yeah let's just change one of these make it so that they have one is more supercharged positive and the other one is like mildly charged positive so yeah I mean we still see that there's that repulsion and that it gets like a lot when they get closer to each other um, but yeah so that that charge is kind of I mean the the force between them is like evenly split between the two of them um, a lot when they're close less when they're farther away okay